Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are working on this 2017 Corvette. Unfortunately, this Corvette took a little bump to the front left. The fender headlight bumper got destroyed. So we're gonna do all the proper repairs, replace all the parts, and then we're gonna blend the hood, the door, and the fender on that side. Everything got pushed back. The gap closed on this side. So we have to align everything. This fender is obviously destroyed. So this Corvette's gonna need some love from the LNC boys and we're gonna give it to it. I'm gonna jam the front fender. That way we can start the repairs and alignment of the front end and make sure everything's perfect and ready to go. So let's head inside and get that done. So I applied sealer over the entire fender and I actually did two coats since we're gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna have to scuff it up when I paint the rest of the car. But for now, we're just gonna jam the edges on the inside here. So then that way when the hood goes, we'll just be able to paint the outside of the car. And now we can mix up our base coat. Color code is a WA413B. It's called Blue Persuasion. I'll be using my SADA JET 5000 to do the jam and the spray out card. Okay, so we're done with the fender. We sealed the entire fender, jammed the sides, painted it and cleared it. So it's ready to be fitted onto the car and then we'll be ready to paint the rest of it, so. Okay, so our new Corvette bumper is sealed and ready to paint. So we're gonna get the car in the spray booth. The car got prepped and it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna wipe it down, clean it up before I get it in the spray booth. We prepped all the panels. So we got a new fender, so we're blending the front door, we're blending the hood, since the bumper meets the hood all the way across. And then we're blending the right fender as well, since the bumper kind of goes all the way across. So if you blend the top of the hood, it only makes sense to blend the top of the fender and then the side as well. So then that way it's gonna be 100% perfect and nobody will ever know it was painted and the color match is gonna be on point. I'm gonna clean it up real quick. We'll get it in the spray booth, start masking it up and do our base coat clear coat and it should come out looking slick. Let's go.
right, the car is masked up and it's ready to go. Everything's looking good, but I didn't really cut around the panels yet. Cause first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna cut around the fender since it's a new fender and it's sealed. I'm gonna apply two coats of base while the rest of the car is masked up. That way we're not gonna get any extra buildup or overspray on the hood and the door. And same with the bumper, it's sealed. So I'm gonna apply my two coats of base. And then once that's dry, I'm gonna unmask the rest of the car and then we're gonna do our blend. This way we're gonna keep the hood and the door a lot cleaner and limit the overspray and build up. And then that way our clear is gonna lay out nice and smooth. So first things first, cut around the fender, paint it, paint the bumper, and then we can blend. Let's go. Okay, so we did our first coat. We're starting to get some coverage. It's looking good already. So we're gonna do one more coat. I'm gonna mix up some more paint. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit more. We'll do one more coat and then we'll unmask everything and start blending. <music> 